Go back to my place and get shot of the rest of that rubbish. Oh, well, I thought you would have been lying into at least noon the state you were in last <laughs> night. Oh, the Hoover woke me. Sorry. Brew? Oh, that was very kind. And what about a nice fried egg sandwich? Lovely. Can I have a bacon sarnie, please, Nessa? You know Nessa's vegetarian. She's not comfortable handling me. There's a pair of rubber gloves underneath the sink in case you're squeamish. Whatever you want, sweetheart. Yeah, don't offer to make me one, will you? My dad says there's only one way to avoid a hangover. Oh, yeah? And what way is that? To keep drinking. <laughs> oh, Dad, really? At your age? I'll go. So... Was it worth it? I can't drink like I used to. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, great. Who invited the ghost to Christmas past? I will let that slide in the spirit of the holidays. I just thought I'd pop round and wish you all a happy new year. <laughs> and now you have, so job done. See ya. Tracy. Hello, Liz. Brew. Hello. Yeah, if you're making one. <sighs> I'm going for a shower. It's like an episode of the Golden Girls in here. Do you want to come on a dog walk with us later, Grandma? Granddad says it's what posh people do on New Year's Day instead of watching telly. No, sir. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. I've broken this old mug. I'm just glad it wasn't one of your good ones. Deirdre made that. Oh. I'm so sorry, Ken. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, you know, how we're so comfortable with each other, we can just not talk Don't like this. push it. No, I've got to open up. Do you really have to go into the factory? I mean, can't you just veg out for another time? I've got tenor? things to do. Can't you do those tomorrow? Look, I need to go in, because I've got to keep busy. I can't just be cooped up in the flat all day, so thank you, but just keep your concerns to yourself. Fine. Thank you. If I wish you Happy New Year, you're going to smack me again. Leave me alone. Please, look, I know you must hate me, but I need to know, are you going to tell them? What? That you're nothing but a sleazy, good-for-nothing liar. Now, don't worry, I'll keep your dirty secret. Thank you. As long as you do one thing for me. Yeah, anything. You back out the factory, and I don't care how, and you move as far away from me and this place as is humanly possible. But... No, no, no buts, Daddy Dearest. OK, I have lived my whole life without you in it. Let's just keep it that way, yeah? 12 o'clock's cancelled. They left a message on the... Hi! Oh, what are you two doing loitering around like a pair of weirdos? Waiting for Nessa. So you're coming on the dog walk with us? That's too low rent for us. We're going ice skating. Ice skating? What, you? Uh, yeah, why not me? <laughs> I keep thinking of that film, Bambi. You know, that bit where he goes on the ice and falls flat on his face. <laughs> right, I'll go fetch her over. With you in a minute. Thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting here. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of us going on this dog walk, isn't there? Uh, no, not us. We're going ice skating. Oh, well, come round for your tea later, you two. Why are you inviting us round to our own house? We live there. Not you. Sorry, just my daft way of saying that I'd like to cook for you all later. Oh, that's very kind. Yeah, well, I feel so awful about breaking that beautiful mug of yours this morning. Easily repaired. And I thought I could ask our Cathy and Roy, too. What a lovely thought. That really is very kind, Nessa, isn't it, Tracy? Sorry. No, we're busy. Yeah? Doing what? Uh, we've not decided yet. Right, so, pizza with me or dinner with a cast of Cocoon? Pizza with you. Robert? Did she say where she was going? Oh, you missed a really lovely dog walk. Mm. What did you do? I just said, walk the dog. <laughs> Five minutes it taken to change, Aidan said. Five minutes? Him? It's an hour in the bathroom every morning. Mm -hmm. You know what he does in there? He's got no hair. Have you got any food on? Today? You're lucky we're up. 
I'm starving. Dad, we've got nothing in the flat. Bistro's open. Yeah, I can't afford the bistro. You work, don't you? And I got a skimp flint for a boss. Oh, he's weakening. You see, I haven't seen a father yet who can resist a daughter when they go all gooey-eyed. Mm. Thanks, Dad. On the change. Oh, from a 20. I've got to leave him a tip, don't I? Anyway, tell Aidan I'll catch up with him once he's blow-dried his eyebrows. <laughs> See ya. Hi. Hi. Uh, look, I know you said not to hustle up, but I've been trying to phone. It's going straight to voicemail. I'm worried. OK. <clears throat> I didn't want to worry you, but she's had a visiting order from Rob. He wants to go and see him. What? You think she's gone to the prison? Well, I don't know. Could she go that soon? Uh, who am I? Ellen Mirren. I, I don't know, darling. All I'm saying is, you know, just because she's not answering her phone doesn't mean she's off on a bender somewhere. Let me try her. Please. <laughs> you are. <laughs>